Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing very well. My name is Andy, and today on this episode of The Young Farmer, we are on a long draw. Uh, there was supposed to be about six tractors, and unfortunately, we have got only around about four at the moment. Uh, now, uh, only two of them are mine. I've got two cases on the go here. Uh, the others are all out. Uh, my two cases, I've got two case pumas. Well, John Deere working beside me here with a very nice looking Bailey's trailer on it. And there's another John Deere just behind there, I think, as well. So, uh, the four tractors will get some ground covered anyway. That's for sure. But uh, there's about 100 acres to run out today. Uh, we're joining on. This is about 35, 40 minutes away from uh, back in the home yard. But it's only about ten, five minutes away from the estate land that we farm out this way. So, a uh, customer rang me up on Monday and said, would I mind coming in just to help out with a little bit of extra uh, mowing work? Uh, and I said yes, so we knocked all this down with our butterflies, uh, which went well. Uh, and then we came back. I got a, photo, a rather unexpected call asking if I would come back in and lift it. So I, I was only too happy to say yes. Uh, and here we are. So it's looking good. And hopefully, like I say, that we'll get this field. This is the first that we're in here. Uh, you'll see in my mirrors there's another John Deere and Bailey's trailing behind. This is from another contractor who's about an hour away really this is all he could spare so we're carting about five and a half six kilometers away which means there is a bit of time to get to and from uh, we might be stuck waiting there but hey we've got five tractors with 50k boxes 18 ton trailers on each uh except for my triple axle trailer on the Broen as well there so we should manage we should be all right there we go we just swapped over neatly as well into the second trailer that's always nice to see Okie dokie, we'll come around. We're just going to take this little block off here, I reckon. And yeah, looking good. We're clearing some ground today, though. Then 940 Jaguars working along very nicely indeed. Lovely to get some uh, additional work in here for the for the Jaguar. Really do like to get that going. Uh, all worthy to try and justify to see if we can keep this going, really. Which I hope we can. But yeah, it's coming in nicely. We've had a little bit of extra silage bale work as well. Uh, and so yeah there's a few more jobs coming in soon got some hay work lined up already can you believe it so a little bit more growing and a lot more heat needed for that one but uh, we'll see see how it goes some very smart john these i believe these are these are 62 30 hours i think or six hours or something i'm not a john Deere man don't really know how that works but they're going well they're going well nearly as well as my here uh foragers i'm very happy with this i feel like i got it dialed in you may notice we're going a little faster now than we were uh, when we were over at Marwell. A couple of reasons. Crop's not quite as thick as that one was. That was just ridiculously heavy. Uh, but also feel like we're, we've got ourselves in groove here as well now, which is uh, very important as well. So happy with that. Very happy with that. Uh, and yeah, these tractor drivers look like they know what they're doing here. They're cracking along. So I can't really complain. Uh, the plan for today is to get all this done. I've got a drone with me as well if I can manage to. Gonna try and position a few cameras around the place and get some additional shots here and there see what that looks like you know that all good stuff but um yeah it should be good should be very very good indeed so i hope everyone's well do let me know what you're cracking on with there how your silage is going if you're getting stuck on into it if you're doing any pit silage bale silage whatever it may be but yeah we're uh we we've got a few other bits and pieces lined up to get into and i hope that we'll get that done soon we'll leave those two i think we'll come back to those there you go down in nice arrow straight look at this I, I came and mowed this the other day in my case there and gps on 30 foot swaths bam good to go really is a, a doddle uh and yeah it's looking good we've actually got a little bit of whole crop to do over this way soon uh, oh there comes another tractor uh so yeah we've got a little bit of whole crop to do which will be nice good to get that in and uh i think that's gonna be in about four weeks time give or take yeah, it's a class tractor coming in. Looks like we've got uh, five on the go now. That's fun. That's nice to see. And in we are. Yeah, this is real, a real silage operation here. It's, it's a sign of where we've come, really, I think, as a, as a business here. Because we've been able to, you know, uh, leverage in a few of the people to help out here. Have our own gear. At least a, a forager, can you believe it or not. But it's great. Really, really is good fun. Yeah, this is coming off very nice. There's a few bits that we missed here. I had to actually stop the mowers here for a little bit, which is why I think that's been left. But uh, all is good. And we'll see how it all comes together. Now, this is all going into a suckler herd, I do believe. Uh, a huge herd. I think there's about 500 in this uh, herd. So there's going to be a lot of... This is just filling up one pit at one yard. 
Uh, there's multiple different pits to go into as well. So uh, my hope is that we can get in with this come uh, with this man, uh, with this farmer here, and get in with him and get some more business because that would be very very lucrative, obviously. So I guess we'll have to see. Uh, oh, and it looks like we just nailed the timing because back they're coming. You what? Hey, look at that! Contractor brought two more classes down. There you go. They look familiar. Now this gentleman in question the tractor on my right here you may see is familiar that is because he bought the, the class action 830 that i traded in so that was my first class which is kind of neat um but yeah the class dealership is about half an hour further away on the other side of uh of where we are here so it's still pretty close to this fella but um a bit too far away for me so yeah he picked it up which i thought was really cool when i found that out really nice to see I'm hoping that uh, it's treating him well. It sit me very well. That was the first big one that we went to, actually. Obviously, we still kept hold of the, the Aryan, which is still doing a grand job. Down there. And I'm hoping as well that means that the number of tracks are going to continue to increase there uh, bit by bit. So that'd be pretty cool if they do. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm worried it's a bit of a long draw and we might not, uh, might not get this all done otherwise. All right then, but yeah, we're looking good. What I think we'll aim to do here as well is get the drone up and get onto some kind of follow me mode, and we'll just see how we how we can get going with that. One. folks 
Field number one is in the books, uh, and trailer number two is sitting there waiting as well. So, we can try and get ourselves on over and get ourselves ready to go in that one. We'll see. Get that knocked out nice and quickly as well, hopefully. And we should be good. So, went in very nicely indeed. Still haven't seen either of my tractors come back yet. Hopefully, that's about to change. Uh, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, we'll get ourselves in, get this headland done. Some really nice. This contractor is coming to help. He's now got uh, three tractors available. There's some very nice, uh, I think they're Stuart trailers actually, but look at the color of them. Lovely, uh, gray. Really, really nice indeed. Let's just stay away from that tree branch there. Fantastic. I know, okay, we'll be good to go. This is a little bit of a smaller field again, but still not bad. Let's just get the, uh, get the front wheels out and the header unfolded there, ready to go. Gonna kick that up. Okay. And we're away. The field number one, one went down very nicely indeed. We're going to try and get you some footage of us on the pit there today, as well as Carlton where possible. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see how that goes along. But yeah, this headland's a little bit more of an odd shaped field more than anything. So we'll be a little bit more careful coming around here. Especially when I'm not too familiar with how these drivers are working. Uh, first time with some of them, to be honest. So. You know, from a different firm there, so everyone has their own ways of doing things, so you just gotta kinda watch out for that. Yeah, otherwise it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Prop wise it's still looking about the same kind of yield, still pretty darn thick on here, that's for sure. Uh and we'll see. But yeah, like I say, we're gonna try and make as much of this as possible, see what we can get, because there's a lot of just different trailers around here, so uh, a lot of different opportunities to get some good footage in here as well there. So I think we'll try and do that. Uh but yeah, we'll continue, we'll get cracking through this lot see how it goes and then we'll come back to you in just a uh, minute or two with some more footage there so this is gonna be the big kind of the biggest episode that we can do really from my standpoint i was hoping to try and get uh one of my family members to come out here and and, and fly a drone for me as well and maybe get a little bit of additional footage but not to be the case although i have seen a couple of young lads from the local village watching on so not that i think they'll be any good but hey it's silage season it draws out the best of everybody right uh it really does around that corner there you go Grand, so we'll get flying through. I get to see any more trailers returning, so that could be a thing. Not sure how that's gonna look or work, but hopefully someone's coming from somewhere soon. But uh, I guess we'll have to see. But anyway, yeah, we'll get this one all done. The long draw is gonna take effect here, I think. Uh, not a single tractor returning there, so <laughs> let's see. Let's see how we get on with that one. Uh, anyway, I'll get this all done. This headland requires a little bit of concentration, so I'll get this one all wrapped out, and then we'll, we'll bring back the drone for a little bit more footage.
folks two down one left to go and we shouldn't take too long that we're going to the smallest one left now uh of this cut at least so that's good news we'll get that one done nice and quickly and then onwards we go I've got one trailer's half full behind me and i got uh josh behind him who's uh, empty as well so we're looking good we're looking good we're cracking it ladies and gentlemen uh so we'll get this all done it's been an eventful uh little morning we've got quite a lot done i hope some of the footage that we've been able to capture there will come through and we'll look good uh long drawer is just about working we've got just about enough tractors there. there's a few moments where we've got to kind of hang on and wait which isn't ideal but then sometimes you know you can't avoid it really uh and it's just kind of what you're left with so we'll we'll get ourselves into here get the header unfolded again get the pickup reel done there is a lad from the other contracting group and we'll get ourselves away so with that we'll get this knocked out there i'll try and get some footage of the pit going as well once we're all done and once we're kind of wrapping that one up but for now we're going to leave it here i think so thank you very much for watching i have been andy the young farmer with a, a fleet of trailers uh trying to get this long haul done so i hope you have enjoyed if you have and you've yet to do so don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to simulation for nation as always and we will see you all in the next one till then though do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll catch you next time